Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. You have been asking me to showcase my daily skincare routine, so I'm going to go ahead and show it to y'all. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker, first of all. Thank you for subscribing, and uh, if you haven't subscribed already but are watching my channel and are enjoying what you're seeing, please do consider subscribing. Hit that subscription button, as well as the notification bell, because the notification bell will actually give a purpose to the subscription. I don't know why YouTube is doing this, but anyway, so you gotta have the notification bell turned on in order for YouTube to tell you when my new videos come online. Otherwise, you won't know, even though you're subscribed, which is super silly, but that's what they do. So, okay, first of all, I have told you that I'm not purchasing new, you know, uh, fashion for 2017, and I'm also not purchasing like special creams and stuff. So uh, I have stocked up on products that I know that I will be using for a full year, uh, which products, which is basically um, the only thing I can't live without is my eye cream and my, uh, what's it called, like my washing gel, facial cleanser, whatever. So those like I purchased, because uh, I usually use three to four a year, so I purchased three, and uh, no, I purchased four, I made, yeah, I purchased four. Like I purchased three in a block. I had the fourth one while I was using it already. So in one at one time I purchased three because I already was using the fourth. But anyway, you catch my drift. Anyway, so and for the rest, I have my tricks. I know a lot of people working in a lot of places. I'm living off of samples basically the entire year. So I'm trying out and testing all new things all the time. At the moment, I'm using the Yves Rocher. I love the brand. I know it's not like an expensive brand or it's not really a famous brand either, but it's a French brand and they use a lot of natural ingredients in most of their products. And they even like specify in most of their creams on my eye cream. They even say uh, that there is like 94% of the cream is like uh, natural essential oils and blah, 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 whatever. So I use the Yves Rocher Pure System 2-in-1 uh, it's all in French. It's, it's, um, it's a biological, organic, uh, aloe vera and, uh, a bit of acids for the skin. I mean, I'm not supposed, I have a very greasy and oily skin, so I shouldn't be using stuff that dries out my skin too much. So I should be just washing my face with something very light, uh, so that I, I don't take the natural oils away, hence preventing my skin from producing even more oils. In fact, that's why with this one, I have to turn it always like this because this closure doesn't really work very well. With this one, I literally have to use it very sparingly so that it doesn't dry me out. But it, it cleans very well, so I, I like that. So after that, I use my, this thing is my personal, like I'm addicted to it, uh, the... Rich cream, the rich cream for the eyes. It's in a tube uh, and it's called Comforting Anti-Wrinkle Eye Cream, basically. Regarde Eye. Uh, 14 milliliter. Um, apply every morning and evening on the eye contour. That's all it is, basically. It's super simple. I use it a lot. I also use it whenever I'm filming, so I would put it on before I put the makeup on, and then when I take the makeup off, I would, um, you know, when I wash myself and everything, I, I kind of apply this again. So that's always for my eyes. It's always, always, always there. And then for the face, I have these little samples here. I have the original package. Uh, from my Chanel essay, I received the Blue Serum. So I'm testing that one out. It's in this little... 5 ml squishy thing so I have like three of these to use you know uh, until I until they're not done I'm finding them okay not they're not too spa I love the smell of the blue serum it's a special thing so I put this on basically in the clean face first I put my eyes then I put this um, what does it say? Chanel has created the first serum for the face, concentrating the power of natural ingredients from blue zones, regions of the world where people live better and longer. The skin looks younger and healthier. Wrinkles appear smooth, skin firmer and skin tone more even. Yeah, right. Anyway, I don't know. I got the sample for free, so I'm using it. I'm testing it. It's been two weeks now. It's, it's just okay. 
I don't even know how much it costs because I'm not going to buy it. And then um, my Dior essay uh, gave me the Capture Total, La Creme Multi Perfection, it's a texture universal, universal texture, uh, multi perfection cream. This shit is the bomb. I'm loving it. Uh, and I might consider purchasing this next year even. Multi perfection cream, universal texture, face and neck. I'm really liking this one. I love the smell. I love the texture of it. It's it's a bit oily, you know, but like since I have oily skin, it kind of matches the oiliness of my skin. And it just like nourishes and I have the feeling it's like very liquidy as well. So I don't feel dried out. And I also don't feel oily. I feel I feel well nourished. But you got to always drink your water, of course. Uh, so that is as simple as that, guys. I'm like so boring. Like I'm really very kind of boyish when it comes to that i really just like four four products that's all i got that's all i use for the face I, I don't overdo it um at the moment at least now makeup is something else i do always put on makeup before i leave the house and there are two basics that i always use when i'm leaving the house now when i when i shoot my videos it's Maybe I should make a totally different video on that. Let me know in the description box down below if you wish to know like what my makeup routine is for the videos because this is work and it's totally different products except for one than the products that I use to just leave the house. For the eyebrows, I use my Chanel um, Perfect Brows. I use the 20, the Brun. So they used to have in the past, they had like three of, this is not really a skincare routine, but I consider it because it's like protection. It's a protection shield when you leave the house. So um, it's like three colors was in the past, right? Now they have two. You could either go for the two light ones or two darker ones. So I also purchased the two darker ones. So I use that when I'm filming. And I use this one, whatever is left of it, when I leave the house. Uh, that's for my eyebrows. And for the face, I use something that also protects, protects me from sun. Uh, and it's kind of hard to get... This one is made in Japan. It's hard to get this shade because this shade is really not for sale in many countries. It's number 20 beige. It is the Vita Lumiere Aqua Cream Compact Sunscreen Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 15. They have upped it to 20 now, I guess. I just stocked up on this one, so I have it. Um, this is how it looks like. So I do use only the 20. And you open it up like that. And then oh, this one's almost empty, as you can see. Um, it's so hilarious because when you open it up like this, it looks like Mickey Mouse. I always think I'm like using Mickey Mouse. So I open it up, it has the two ears and the face. <laughs> okay, crazy makeup. Anyway, that's the funny, the things that make it more fun to use makeup. So this little baby is a gorgeous kind of cream with a very soft texture. So it's makeup, you put it all over the face. However, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't become chunky on my skin. It doesn't uh, create creases. You don't really see it. It blends in magically and perfectly. So it never really looks like you're wearing makeup. However, it does even out imperfections a little bit and it does create an overall kind of more smooth look so that it reflects light in a night. Basically the trick about this one is that kind of the pigments in it really reflect light in a very, very a comforting way. So it's a very Chanel kind of pure look and I'm loving it. And actually I started purchasing this, oh God, even before it was called Vita Lumiere Aqua before, and I still have the original box. The box, this kind of package uh, has never changed. The name of the product has. So my refill is the original name. It's Vita Lumiere Aqua, but the original box that I still use, as long as it doesn't break, I'm going to keep on using it. Why shouldn't I? It, so the Vita Lumiere Aqua Cream Compact Sunscreen Makeup, Fresh and Hydrating, used to be called Tant Innocence, uh, um, Naturally Luminous Compact Makeup. And it used to be Sunscreen Factor 10. Then they upped it to 15, and now it's up to 20. So they keep upping it as the ozone layer disintegrates more and more. Now, that is it, except, of course, to me, skin, to me, it's a fact, skin is the biggest our organ, bodily organ that we have. Yes, skin is an organ and you got to take good care of it. It is the biggest organ we have. Uh, perfume is a part of my daily process. Uh, well, facial. I mean, I, I would put perfume on the neck, not really on the face, but I would put perfume on the hair as well. Uh, so it's part of my facial skincare routine. Of course, I also do body cream, uh, but yeah, that's also from the Yves, Yves Rocher uh, range. Super simple without too much, too many perfumes or anything. It's just a 
just a hydrating cream. I don't like to have something too oily on my skin. Chanel number five. I just hunted this one down on, um, on a secondhand website. I don't want to promote the website though, so I'm not going to say which one, but it's the biggest one. And uh, I found a 15 milliliter pure parfum spray for 20 bucks. I was like so fucking shocked. Of course, it's vintage. They don't produce these anymore. And instead of 15 ml, there's only 10 left. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I mean, you know, the pure perfume and the head notes are, are gone. They're not like, you know, it's not a fresh batch. This one is at least 15 years old, but so what? The top notes have gone a bit sour, but the second that the top notes are gone, which is like 10 minutes into the fragrance, heaven, 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 heaven. So for 20 bucks, 10 milliliter of pure parfum of Chanel number no. five. Mm. Uh, with a little packaging, with, with it's a little box and everything. I'm, oh my God, I melt when I spray this on. It's just so good. Okay, uh, well, of course, I also have my <laughs> splash bottle of Chanel number no. five. Mm. Okay, let's do this one as well. Now, I have to turn everything into fragrance review. Great. But I can't help myself. Like when Chanel 5 is around me, I just kind of grab it and I start using it. Now, just for the instances where I would maybe hurt myself, let's say like with my lips, I have very delicate lips. Uh, there is a cream that I use for the lip area or for my elbows or whatever part of the body that kind of turns dry. Elizabeth Arden's 8-Hour Cream. It's a bit stinky. It can even like smell like a goat's ass, actually. It's like super intense. But I mean, the original formulation is like from the 30s. I guess Elizabeth Arden made it to like help her son who kind of fell down and scratched his elbow or knee or something. So she concocted this cream, put it on him. And like eight, eight hours later, he healed. So that's why it's called the eight hour cream, the original. And uh, this is um, the hand treatment, but I also have the actual eight hour cream. Uh, the hand treatment, I don't use as much. Usually I put this in my bag if I'm traveling. However, the original 8-hour cream, mm, I, I put it a lot on the lips uh, before I go to bed. During the daytime, I have to dose it a bit better because it's very oily and it, like, it, it just like shines so much. But it's, it's just, I'm used to the smell. I'm actually addicted to it. Like I really didn't like it in the beginning, but then like the more time passes, the more you fall in love with it. So that's that. Um... That's all the stuff I use, really. I know I keep like saying that's all the stuff I use and then I add another product, but no, that that's that's really it. And um Yes. So how can we do this? Can I lift it all at once? Probably not. Let's see. Like you see, it all fits in just like two hands. <laughs> Whatever. But and that's all I need when I travel, really. Of course, I need to pack my shampoo because I have like blonde hair and I have a mask for the hair and I have a special shampoo and it all has to be like super coordinated and I have to use only one particular type of shampoo. I can't use just any shampoo. It has to be sulfate free and all that shebang. Um, but yeah, as far as facial stuff goes, it's really not a lot. So I hope you like this video. It was boring, actually, if you think about it, because, I mean, I don't know, does anybody have, like, a more spectacular facial treatment that they would like to share with us? Please do in the comment section down below. However, if you like this video, please do thumb it up, share it with the ones you love, and uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So, no matter how the facial features are and how they turn accordingly to what creams we use or not use, we still smile when we look in the mirror. We have to learn to love what we see in the mirror because we never give up on love. Love you guys. See you soon. Take care. Bye.